a radical looks like this. Okay, so let's start off by simplifying square roots, and then we can maybe look at cube roots and uh, other types of radicals like that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start off with like the square root of 24, for example. So how do we simplify the square root of 24? Well, there's a couple different ways. One way is you can divide out a perfect square. For example, 4 times 6 is 24, but the square root of 4 we know is 2, so we can simplify this to 2 square root of 6. Now, square root of 6, we, there's not any perfect squares that we can divide out of 6, like 3, um, like 9, like, which is uh, square root of 9 is 3, or 16, which is 4, or 25, which is 5. So this is as far as we can simplify this one. Let's look at another example. Say we have the square root of 27. Okay, 27 we know is the square root of 9 times the square root of 3, because 9 times 3 is 27, but the square root of 9 is 3, and we have the 3 here left over, so this is not a perfect square. Let's take, for example, a larger one. Like, say we have the square root of 128. So how do we simplify the square root of 128? Well, we can divide out perfect squares like we were doing here, like 4, 9, 16, 25, and that's fine, but sometimes when the numbers get a little bit larger, what you might want to do is do a prime factorization tree. So what I recommend uh, oftentimes is just go ahead and break that number down. Okay, so we can see 64 times 2, 8 times 8, uh, let's see, 4 times 2, 4 times 2, okay, you just keep simplifying. And then what you do is you look for a pair, meaning like two of the same number. They don't have to be twos, they just have to be the same number, but here's a pair of twos, here's another pair, and here's another pair, okay, and it looks like we have one, two left over. So for each group, you end up with one of those because this represents four, square root of four is two, square root of four is two, square root of four is two. So this is gonna be two times two times two, which is eight, with this two left over, so this is gonna be eight square root of two. So that's 